This morning's scripture reading is 1 Samuel 18 to 20, and 2 Samuel verse 1. After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan came, one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt. Knowing that his father Saul had threatened David's life, Jonathan said to David, whatever you want me to do, I'll do for you. Come, Jonathan said, let's go out into the field. So they went there together. Then Jonathan said to David, I swear by the Lord, the God of Israel, that I will surely sound out my father by this time the day after tomorrow. If he is favorably disposed toward you, I will send you word and let you know. But if my father intends to harm you, I will let you know and send you away in peace. May the Lord be with you as he has been with my father. But show me unfailing kindness like the Lord's kindness as long as I live so that I may not be killed and do not ever cut off your kindness from my family. So Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David, saying, May the Lord call David's enemies to account. And Jonathan had David reaffirm his oath out of love for him, because he loved him as he loved himself. Saul continued to threaten David's life, and Jonathan protected him until finally at the dinner Saul's anger flared up at Jonathan, and he shouted threats and demanded to know where David was hiding. Jonathan got up from the table in fierce anger. On that second day of the feast, he did not eat because he was grieved at his father's shameful treatment of David. In the morning, Jonathan went out to the field for his meeting with David. After Jonathan gave the agreed upon signal to come out of hiding, David got up from the south side of the stone and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face to the ground. Then they kissed each other and wept together, but David wept the most. Jonathan said to David, go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, the Lord is witness between you and me and between our descendants and my descendants forever. Then David left and Jonathan went back to the town. After Jonathan was killed in battle, David cried and tore his clothes. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of battle? Jonathan lies slain upon thy high places. I am distressed for you, my beloved Jonathan. Very pleasant have you been to me. Your love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. How are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war perished? The Gospel reading for today is from Jonathan. The Gospel reading for today is from John 19, verses 25 to 27. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. There ends our reading. 